I have been one of the most active storm chasers on planet Earth. Over the last three years, I've amassed almost an average of 100,000 miles a year. This last year, over 100,000 miles. We saw hurricanes, floods, fires, tornadoes, and we even went out to Hawaii for some volcanoes. I'm gonna take you through this whole year in time lapse. This particular storm, we saw five tornadoes in Arkansas in April. Then the next day we went up to Iowa. This one I'll be kicking myself for many years to come because I overshot it. If I'd have stuck with my gut, the original target, I'd have had some incredible footage that day, but I played 65 miles too far west and got there late. Chasing tornadoes at night is incredibly dangerous and I don't recommend it for your health. But in so choosing to do it, I'll tell you one thing. It's like being in the bottom of the ocean without a cage and a bunch of sharks around you. You never know exactly where it's gonna come down. And you're chasing trying to stay ahead of it, alert towns and folks ahead of you. This is what I call one of those perfect days. Tornado actually never came down, but I got my first beautiful barber chair up close. That day it was just one of those days where everything went right and nothing went wrong and everybody was safe. Virtually the next day the same thing happened. It was dusty as hell that day, you couldn't see anything, and then all of a sudden right at sundown this opened up, this beautiful tornado warrant storm. Went through several towns, luckily alerting everybody. No tornado actually came down. And once again we just enjoyed the beauty and everybody stayed safe. Now this day I'll always remember. This day started off as any other marginal, moderate, severe, whatever it was that day. We chased four tornadoes that day, tough to get a read on all of them, most of them rain wrapped, and then that night we were one of the few chasers that kept going. We pushed through the night, and this would be known as the Paul's Valley Tornado. Now what you're gonna see coming up next will definitely live on in my book for years to come. We come up over this hill, we're right on the tracks on radar, and I mean right on the tracks. What you're gonna see next is a fire start on the right of your screen. Later I would find out from the owner that it was started because of the tornado. Right there. Boom, we get hit right here. Luckily we got through it. The next day, we'd find out damage happened to a local beautician shop was destroyed and our footage helped get it overturned for her insurance. And that was one of the most rewarding things that ever came of that day. This would turn into being the Mangum, Oklahoma tornado warning storm that came through and we saw it in the night. While everybody was getting the tornado fest down south in Fort Stockton, we unfortunately had business we had to attend and couldn't change the date on, so we missed being 100 miles south for the 10 tornadoes that dropped. But we did see one right outside of Collinsworth, Texas.
Who's ever going to forget the hot boob in Nebraska? My buddy from England came out, and the first thing we did is jumped into some tornado warning storms in Kansas. I gotta hand it to him to be called the most active storm chaser on planet Earth. Uh, he definitely fueled the fire. He literally didn't let us sleep at all. So we chased morning, noon, night for six and a half weeks straight. But I'm glad he did because he absolutely pushed me to the brink. So thanks again, Kurt. can forget Morton, Texas. And there's Kurt's head once again. You'll see it a few more times in these look back on 2022. Morton, Texas was insane. I'll tell you right now, for all the hero and love you get online and all the people that praise you and, you know, thank you and some that say you saved your lives, there's absolutely an equal side of depression, of dark, long, lonely miles ahead of you of just wondering, missed birthdays, families, I haven't seen my parents in over a year, I haven't seen my girlfriend in four months, being one of the most active storm chasers on planet Earth comes with a heavy price to pay and I've paid it dearly, both in my health and in missing my family. That's part of the sacrifice in doing this job and both alerting the public and documenting Mother Nature. This was a crazy day in Minnesota. This is the day I got to meet one of the oldest of the old school and that's David Hoadley, legend on Mount Rushmore storm chasing. And then there was Andover. Andover will always be a tough pill to swallow. Not only did I leave Andover an hour before the tornado came down, going north up to Salina, I was just a few minutes behind the young men that were killed that night, the three young men from the University of Oklahoma's meteorology department. And uh, that night will always stick out in my mind for that reason. Once again, out there in the middle of the night, looking for tornadoes with a flash of lightning, hoping to find that wedge, call it in and alert the public. <laughs> 